for the wife and myself are in Brancaster in Norfolk to enjoy hopefully a relaxing weekend. I'm hoping to get in a bit of wildlife watching and filming and Brancaster is an excellent base to explore the surrounding area from and also has one of the best beaches in Norfolk with miles of golden sand and if that's your thing water sports to enjoy and if we want to eat out there's a good selection of inns pubs and restaurants to enjoy and if we feel like eating in then there's an excellent selection of purveyors of the best in locally produced produce so i don't think that we're going to go hungry okay this is broad lane in brancaster at the top of this dirt road is our accommodation for the next three days this is the little cottage bungalow that we've rented it's got a kitchen bathroom sitting room and bedroom and there's no through traffic so we're going to get some peace and quiet and there's a nice little enclosed garden for our dogs to have the run of. The cottage is situated literally on the coast path. In this direction the path takes you to the beach where you could actually walk to uh, Titchwell if you wanted to and beyond and in the opposite direction the path takes you past Reedbed, this old Roman fort or the remains of it till eventually you come out in Brancaster Harbour which is a natural mud flat type harbour packed with both pleasure craft and fishing boats and from the crab hut you can buy freshly caught crab, lobster and lots of other kinds of shellfish. Okay this is later the same day this is a field just up from our cottage bungalow as you can see there's this green track which looks pretty good habitat and this field has been left uh, to grow wild and according to the cottage owner a regular site here is a barn owl and it is good barn owl country no barn owl at the moment just a robin and walking further up the uh, ride the hedgerows are covered with uh, hawthorn blossom which is attracting a myriad insects including beetles hoverflies and this large red damselfly okay it's friday evening we've just been out for something to eat and drink just watching this great tip enjoying the evening sunshine in the garden and just before I go out to try and find the owl just outside the cottage bungalow we've got a blackbird and long-tailed tit the light's starting to drop now unfortunately no sign of any barn owls the cottage owners are away at the moment so I can't really ask if there's any barn owls been spotted recently unfortunately but looking in a far tree there there's a bird but uh, it's a jay and also we've got a song thrush Okay, it's Saturday morning, just woken up. I'm greeted by uh, an excellent view of a male, great spotted woodpecker on the nut feeder in the garden, just outside the bedroom window. Uh, a beautiful bird to have come to your feeders. Okay, I'm on the coast path heading towards the beach. It's a little bit uh, cloudy and breezy. This is the part of the coast path just outside our cottage bungalow and when you're sitting inside you can actually hear a Chetty's warbler, a bird I've never been able to film. And you can hear it there and audio is all I've ever been able to get of a Chetty's warbler. Okay this is the path that runs parallel with the beach road. There's reed bed either side and you can hear both sedge and reed warblers but they're not showing. Looking further out we've got a flock of grey lags taking their goslings for an early morning walk also a little egret and as you can hear oyster catcher also uh, hiding in the reeds we've got a heron but if you look just above the heron we've actually got a reed warbler in view okay it's later the same day we're actually enjoying the exotic delights of Hunstanton at the moment I haven't been to Hunstanton for many a long year but I wanted to come here to check out the sea life centre and just outside the Sea Life Centre we were greeted by this charming view of this female mallard with a huge brood of ducklings. Okay we're in the Sea Life Centre now. It's mainly exotic aquatic species which are kept here but I'm going to feature those in a different film. But there are British creatures on view like these rescued grey and common seal. There's also otters but not the ones found in the UK. These are the Asian variety. You can see fish from British waters, seahorse, trout, various rays, mackerel, uh, flounder and other flatfish. Okay, we're back from Hunstanton. It's Saturday afternoon. I'm back on the ride again. Just checking what's about. We've got long-tailed tit, various butterflies like this ragged peacock and lots of these small brown butterflies, which at first I thought were gatekeeper or small copper, but they're actually wall browns. And this is my first footage of that particular species. 
Okay, it's Saturday evening. We just got back from our evening meal. I'm listening just outside the cottage door. We've got a cuckoo somewhere up in these trees, but unfortunately, I can't spot it. Okay, the evening's drawing on, and I'm going to head out onto the coast path, try and see the owl from uh, here, but uh, to no avail. No sign of the owl over the meadows there. But on the way back to the cottage, I did see this uh, muntjac deer on the uh, ride there. Well, tomorrow's Sunday, and I'm off to Titchwell early. Okay, it's early Sunday morning. I'm at Titchwell, just outside the visitor centre, just watching this blue tit go in and out of the box, feeding its brood of chicks. Okay, I'm just heading down the boardwalk to the Fen Hide. And, uh, a couple of wrens uh, on view in the uh, surrounding undergrowth there. Okay, just spent 20 minutes in the Fen Hide, absolutely nothing on view from there. So, I've moved on to the screen, see what's about from here. They're just grey lags and they're goslings. Okay, just checking out the next hide down. Uh, not much on view from here. We've got a group of, I think, common gulls there. Uh, Black-headed gulls and a pied wagtail. Uh, very sparse out there. But more interestingly, I was just walking down the path to the Perinder Hide and looking on the salt marsh actually saw this uh, Chinese water deer just uh, molting its coat there, just its uh, summer coat coming through. That is one weird looking animal. You can just see the tusks there which tells you it's a male. Okay this is the Perinda hide, hopefully there'll be more on view from here. Not really much out there, just a red shank, shell duck, little egret, gadwall and a little tern. This is my first view and footage of a little tern and a little ring plover, oyster catcher and avocet. Okay I've walked all the way up to the beach and in among the dunes my first decent view for this year of swallows and as well as swallows there have been lots of swifts around and I've managed to get some slow-mo footage of those so here's some music and look at that and I'll see you next time. <laughs>